Now that I'm saying it out loud, I should be thankful. Let's be thankful. I need to be thankful instead of complaining about all this stuff. So I just got back from my workout. Woke up super early this morning because I have to be at work at eight. I don't want that to be my normal work time. Right now I'm in training mode or they put me through some, or I'm doing training. So I'm kind of following a training schedule. But once the I actually start doing just my job, I'm hoping for like an 8.30 to 5.30, 6 o'clock schedule to get you know my eight plus hours in for the day. Because getting up at 4.20, Feels a lot different than 445. <laughs> Maybe it's just a mental thing, but so I don't have a whole lot of time. So I just reheated some chicken thighs that I had. Didn't cook any eggs or anything, just reheated some meat. And I have some leftover meat from yesterday. Had a uh, hamburger and hot dog grill with the family. So had some leftover meat from that. So I'll be eating that today. And then trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my trip that I'm going to go on. I'm going to go to Kansas to do some on the job training. For the new job yesterday was fun uh, my girlfriend made some and i helped her make some um, homemade ice cream using a old-fashioned ice cream maker i'd never done that before and it was kind of cool it tasted really good but yesterday was definitely a day of taking it easy or at least not watching what i ate i had hamburger with buns a hot dog with buns i had potato chips potato salad my mom's a delicious potato salad and then of course the ice cream and my mom had made some homemade shortcake so we had strawberry shortcake so that was delicious so definitely kind of feeling that today. Going to start off this week right. I know I mentioned in the early video thinking about going carnivore. I think I might go more just a keto route because I don't want to get the carb flu, which I've kind of gotten before. If you're not sure what the carb flu is, it's kind of an, a name they give or keto flu or whatever they call it. But like when you go low carb and your body's like, where's all the glucose or whatever to give me energy? Where's all the carbs? So I'm not sure I want to go through that while I'm training for a new job. So I might just go low carb and see how I feel. And that kind of starts today because I ran out of my, I cooked all my last sweet potatoes and potato and rice and I did not buy any more over the weekend. And I don't plan to buy any more, but I'm going to be traveling which is going to be interesting. So for breakfast, two chicken thighs equals about seven ounces of chicken thighs. And then some of my low fat shredded cheese Fiesta blend and a little bit of sugar free barbecue sauce to get my day started. All right, we are traveling to Kansas. I'm making a stop or I made a stop in I don't know where I'm at, but I'm about an hour away from my destination of Overland Park, Kansas. I was hungry. I had breakfast, but I was hungry. It's, it's about, it's one o'clock. And I know some people are like, well, this is a chance for you to fast where you don't have to eat. Well, I'm hungry and I know I'm going to get there and I know I'm going to start working. So I don't want to be hungry while I'm working. It really isn't a big town that I'm at. So I decided to get Wendy's and get a Baconator. And I didn't eat the bun. The best choice? Maybe not. It was a choice I had. Or it was a choice I made. So I think it's good to go. But what I thought was really cool while I was sitting here eating is this horse carriage that I saw. I thought that was interesting. So I'm going to get there. I'm going to check in. I'm, I would assume as soon as I meet the people that are going to be, I'm going to be shadowing while I work. Um, and then I'll check into the hotel and see what my options are as far as eating at the hotel. And then I'm going to check out the gym that's nearby. It's about a minute away, a minute away, which is awesome. Um, that the uh, Genesis gym that I am a member at has a location that's a minute away. So that's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, I think I'll get back on the road now. Checked into the hotel. It was a long drive. Not that long, but you know, four hour drive altogether. Maybe a little over four with all my bathroom stops. Nice hotel. Checked in. Did my work this afternoon. Uh, worked with uh, the social media person at the Overland Park location. Learned a lot, so that was fantastic. Great group of people already that I've met. I can already tell I'm going to really like this job. Just talking with people, interacting with people, and being able to create content. Uh, this is going to be a great job and I'm so glad that I'm that I landed the job. This hotel has a breakfast and dinner so I thought I'd try the dinner and they had nachos, hot dogs and then they had meatball mashed potatoes. So 
I thought for dinner, it's probably not the best, but it's meatballs. I grabbed some meatballs. There's gravy on it, so I know it's gonna have some not so great stuff in it. But what I had done is I packed some meat that I had cooked some and then I'd grilled some yesterday for Easter for the family and I grabbed a bunch of meat. There's some bratwurst, chicken thighs, and hamburger patties in there. And what I had done is I put it in this ba a bag and then I put it in another bag and then I've just filled that bigger Ziploc bag. It's like it was a freezer bag. I filled it with ice and then I put it in I had gotten one of these from Butcher Box, and it was an insulated, one of those insulated bags. So it keeps it cool, keeps the chill there for a little bit. The ice hadn't melted all the way, but it had been in my car the entire drive here. I think it should be fine. We'll know tomorrow when I have it, try to have it for lunch. We'll see. So I'm gonna eat my dinner here, and then I'm gonna go, this is a really busy place, busy location. I don't know if you can see that, hold on. This is looking outside. I don't know if you can see the highway. But there's the interstate right there. Oh, it's kind of calmed down. It was busier earlier. Look at the traffic out here. It's pretty busy. I'm gonna wait a little bit, see if it, see if it dies down a little bit, and then go to like a Walgreens or something and get some water bottles. Or I might just get some water. See if they have a vending machine here and get some water bottles for, well, to drink water and to be able to drink my pre-workout and my protein powder in the morning before I go work out. Something that I'm a little, I'm disappointed with is that I, I think I told you there was a Genesis. I thought it was, well, the map said it was a minute away. It's literally 500 feet from the hotel. So a um, perfect location. But according to my Genesis membership, I'm on a certain level so that I go to a Broken Arrow, um, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma location. This one is a huge, huge gym and it's an upcharge. It's apparently, I'm a gold level member and this is the platinum Genesis. And so I have to pay an upcharge of $10 a day to go. Well, I looked up different places that I could go. The fitness center here is just treadmills. Now that's great for getting in a, a walk, get some steps in, but there's no weight, so I can't get my workout in. So I think I'm gonna make the investment of today, or no, tomorrow, because I already did my workout this morning. Tomorrow and Wednesday, because I come back on Thursday. So I think I will make the investment of $10 a day so I can get my workout in. It's just, it's frustrating, because I thought I was a paying membership fee to where I could go anywhere, but apparently not. But I'm just tired, and I'm complaining and griping. I am thankful, though, that the gym is right there, and the place that I'm working at is only a 15-minute drive from here. So I'll get up early, get my workout done, get back, take a shower, head to work, and be there about 8.15, so should be good to go. I'm gonna eat these meatballs before they get cold. That's my first day of traveling, that's how it went. Don't really have much to share, other than, now that I'm saying it out loud, I should be thankful. I'm thankful that I have a nice hotel to stay at. They're sending me here to train so that I can perform my job at the best I can do. I can do a good, so that I can do a good job, learn more about the job. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful that there is food to have. I'm thankful that I'm able to bring food. I'm thankful that they let me rent a car instead of putting miles on my car, which is great. And I'm thankful that the gym is right there. So you know what? Let's be thankful. <laughs> I need to be thankful instead of complaining about all this stuff. This is literally how close the gym is. I can literally go out a side door and I can see the gym. If I had a rock, I could throw it and hit the gym. I'd probably hit a car first, which wouldn't be a good thing. But it's so close, which is awesome.